Hey guys, welcome back. Today, the lighting's gonna be a little bit bad because it's currently sunset at 4 p.m. in California. So I apologize for that ahead of time. Today I have a Pothos and Joy that I want to repot in a few different pots. I also have another plant that I was wanting to put with it. If I separate some of this, I just, I still want it to be full. And I don't really want to have too many scattered around my house. I have a couple right now, so let's just get into it. I guess I'll go get that other plant. Short story time. This plant, this, this partially nothing but vine, Pothos and Joy, used to look like this. Maybe not as bushy and a little longer than this, but yeah, they used to be the same. I got them from the same person. They were each only $10 for these hanging baskets, so I think that's a really, really good deal. Um, so I got another one after I kind of destroyed this one, and here's what happened. It got cold really quick here, so we started using our heater. And the heater's right back here, that big white thing right there, that's our heater. And so the pothos is up there on that shelf. It got really, really hot really quick, and I didn't realize it was drying out my plants like crazy. I just didn't think about the water content. It looked a little droopy. I knew I needed to water it soon, but I usually let my pothos get kind of droopy before I water them anyway. So I thought it was fine. I saw some yellow leaves, I thought it was fine. Just thought it was from not watering it as much. And then I pulled it down and the entire back of it was just burnt to a crisp. I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well up close. Everything was just burnt and yellow like this. It was way worse than even these little few leaves up here are. Didn't wanna take everything off. But yeah, this is what I'm left with, is pretty much every vine that's hanging down, which is nice. But I just like to get it in another pot, so that's what I'm going to start doing. Oh, and I also have this baby fern, I believe. Oh, what kind of fern are you? I forgot what kind of, Boston fern. I think it's a baby Boston fern. So cute. But yeah, its leaves have been like unraveling like crazy since I got it. I just keep it in my bathroom where it has medium to bright light, indirect light, and a lot of humidity. <laughs> I spray it like twice a day, and when I shower, probably only once a day, but yes, I don't let it dry out too much. I just want to put it in this little terracotta pot. It's currently in a little nursery pot. Just really, really small. I feel like there's just no soil in there. And yeah, there's just a lot of roots. They don't even look that great, but that's just kind of what they looked like since I forgot it. And it looks like it's really healthy, so I assume that's just the plant. Yeah, I don't know. I just want it in a little more soil. Maybe it'll grow a little bit bigger. So that's the plan. I guess I'll do the little one first. I've all of a sudden just got really, really obsessed with ferns. I really like them. I have a rabbit's foot fern and it's doing great. It lost a few leaves in the beginning, but acclimating, you know, but it's doing a lot better. It's actually putting out some new fronds on the little, little rabbity foot looking things, the little roots, tendrils that hang out. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Hi, honey. That huff, though. <laughs> and also, sorry about the flies. There's been a couple flies around my house. I think they're trying to get away from the cold. But, yeah, they're kind of annoying. In the past couple of videos that I've tried filming, they're everywhere. 
it's not fun. Sorry for that. Yay, she's so cute. It only sticks out a little bit on the top, so I don't really mind if it's like that, but... But when the nursery pot comes, like, way up above the little cash pot, I don't really like it as much, so... I love that. It's so cute. Now, this guy. I would have filmed this earlier with my friend if I had a little bit more time this morning, but it was a little bit of a busy day. My friend and I go plant shopping a lot in the mornings, and so we did that. We did mean to record, but we didn't really get a huge haul. We found some really nice variegated marantas. Um, I found a little Christmas tree, <laughs> um, but that's it. And I just got home from a baby shower. Just wanted to get a few more plant things done since I only have tomorrow off. And then I'm going back to work. So yeah, just trying to stay busy. Trying to keep things fresh. And we're gonna start fixing up some plants because the plants need attention. Especially this one. This one's just sad. I think it needs water really bad right now. I'm just gonna make a mess everywhere. It's just... Oh, nice roots dough. Wow, it's like, it's already getting so dark outside. Ugh, I'm trying to be fast. I need to get my dog's nails cut so that they don't make such loud noise. <laughs> and obviously so they don't start hurting him. Hi, Bubby. You need your nails cut? Yeah? You need your nails cut? Yeah. This is a big root ball. Like, obviously when I was cutting off those leaves, there was no roots to take out of it, but... Got this. So I'm just gonna have to take them out myself. Ugh, I get so scared when I see a little piece of perlite or pumice and it's like moving and dangling with the roots when I'm touching it and it scares me. It makes me think it's a bug, it's like a mealy bug or something. But it's not, it's just a little rock. <laughs> I get so scared. Oh my goodness, dude. This thing seems so huge, but there's like hardly anything. I mean, there's, I don't know, is that normal? Have this much roots for this much plant? I guess it's probably not that much. I don't know. Do the roots keep getting longer when the plant gets longer? I just figured because there was not very many shoots in the top that there wouldn't be very many roots, but I was wrong. There's quite a bit falling out though. Kind of having to just put it in the trash bucket. These little cover pots, cash pots, cash pose, whatever you like to call them, from Home Depot are really, really useful for carrying soil in, for putting your dirty soil in. I actually have two here. Um, to set your plant in. That's actually what I'm gonna do right now until I'm ready to put it in the pot with the other stuff. Yeah, I don't know. They're not, they're not the cutest. I feel like together, if you had like that, those tones in your house, it would look nice, but I'm not a fan. I'm not a bad, big fan. They're not cute to me. All right, I don't really know where to start here. <clears throat> Well, I need to take these wires off. So yeah, after going to that, this place where I got these plants from, I'm never going to pay more than $10 for a pothos again. Unless it's like a rare kind. Because these are amazing. 
I get them from, it's just a little water store in my town. They literally sell water by the gallon. You can come bring your five gallon jugs to get them refilled there. And he sells a lot of plants. Um, he actually drives out and picks them up himself. So they're not shipped to him or anything. They're not, they never look damaged, never look unhealthy, nothing like that. He always has really good quality stuff. And his prices are by the size of the pot. So that's always really nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, these wire ones though, like, I know they're better than plastic, but This is really hard. Okay. Okay. Whew. One more. Got it. find hanging space for my plants. I don't have very much hanging space. I feel like I, I mean, I just don't have very much to put up. To hang things from, I guess is better. Better to say. Mm -hmm. I don't buy a soil mix, any specific brand. I just buy the different, um, things that you mix in, I'm, I mix it myself. <laughs> I mix soil by myself. I mix it with cocoa coir, worm castings, and pumice. I prefer pumice over perlite because perlite just seems, I know it's natural, but it just, it rises up to the top and I don't really like that. I like it to stay throughout the pot. I don't know. This is a beast. I guess I should have done that. Oh, I think I think her YouTube name is Joy Us Garden. She did a plant repotting video and she actually she had a really really long pothos. Wow, look at those roots. Kind of hard to see from back here. I don't want to spill soil everywhere. Anyway, she was repotting a really, really big golden pothos, like a really long trailing one. And she put the vines in in a pillowcase. And I thought that was so smart because it keeps everything out of, you know, out of the way of the dirt. Wasn't smart enough to do that before this video, but you know. Wow. Yep. This is a beast. Be right back while I break this all up. I have made progress. That's it so far. This is taking forever. This thing is just so crazy. I just wanted to separate a few pieces, get a couple planted into their own pots. We'll see if that happens. Dude, this node is like, <laughs> it's so long. It's a root. Yeah, I don't know if this was a good idea. <laughs> There's like a really pretty leaf on here. <laughs> I posted a picture. Oh, I don't see it here right now or I'd show you. I'm not sure where it is. I posted a picture of it on my Instagram and someone commented that it looked like a fortune cookie. I don't know how it looks like a fortune cookie, but... Okay. <laughs> I feel like I can't get to anything right now. Alright, I just need a really... No bugs or anything either. Just nice. Some broken roots. Whoa! Yeah. Making a mess. If you're gonna repot things inside, it's gonna be messy.
Dude, these leaves are just so smashed together. <gasps> There's just so much. I feel like I should be able to pick stuff out, but nope. 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 Um, Kitty, you're in my chair. My cat took my chair. My back hurts. I want to sit. Can you move? Oh, I'm going to share with you. <laughs> That's what I do all day, every day, if I'm home. I'm in and out. Outside? Butchering this pothos. I really do. This is what I'm working with right now. Is that even like enough roots for this? I have no idea. This is so messy. Sorry if any of you are disgusted by me not using gloves or anything. <laughs> I use enough reusable gloves at work as it is. As a professional piercer, I just go through so many gloves and I feel like it's so wasteful and I just cannot, I can't stand the thought of using more gloves on my free time for this. Like, no, I have hands. I had some gardening gloves, but I don't know. I got some, some cactus pricks in it and can't wear them anymore. This is hard. This is kind of hard when the plant's really long. It's so bright right there. <laughs> it's my lamp for my plants. I don't know, what do you guys prefer? I always just drape like the entire plant over the front so you can see it when you put it up, but I don't know, a lot of places like separate the middle and like have them trailing on both sides. I don't know. I like the bushy look better than having it on each side. All right. Now there he is. So let him back in. Keep stepping on perlite. Not even sure what I'm grabbing here. Dude, this is also tangled too. Like, jeez, can't see what I'm doing. There we go. It's a little better. those broken roots in the soil because you don't want them to start rotting in the soil and you don't want that to lead to the rest of your plant rotting so if you reuse a lot of the soil like I do just make sure to pick most of them out as long as I do that it seems to be okay
cute. I do have one more little pot. I'm gonna see if it's gonna be easy to separate just a little bit more. If not, I'm gonna have to stop. Hmm. Honestly, no, I don't think so. That was like total maximum effort right there. Okay. Already dropped this guy once and there's soil anywhere anyways. And root stuff out. Stepping on part light and I can't take it anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull off the rest of the burnt leaves. Sorry if my hair looks weird, I'm brushing out my dreads. <sighs> and yeah, they're just getting too messy. I can't really keep up with them. I love them though. I don't want to get rid of them. But I feel like I have to. Oh, goodness. Just making a mess everywhere. No. This might be a long video. I'm gonna have to cut it down like a lot because a lot of it's just me struggling with this. Well, this did not go how I planned. I think it might have worked. Yeah. Wow. This was a real challenge. <laughs> I'm just gonna fill up the holes though, cause I, it takes up most of the pot. I'm gonna spill soil all over doing this one. You hungry, kitty? Want food? Yeah? Jasper. My sweet baby kitty. Okay. Here we go. I'm sorry. I got him from one of my friends. She needed to rehome her cats and couldn't find anyone to rehome them and was really not knowing what to do. So I swooped in and now Jasper is a part of our family. He's an amazing cat. He likes to eat the plants though, so I have to, that's why a lot of, there's some shelves in the back. He likes to eat them, so I have to keep them up because some of them are toxic. 
Whoa, this cutting is just completely falling out. <sighs> I overshoot it a little bit when I'm putting soil in my newly potted plants just because sometimes if they've just been watered, I don't like to water them right away when I pot them. So I wait a little bit, I wait a day or two before I water it, put a little bit more soil in there so that when I do water it and it fills in those spaces, it doesn't leave me without much soil. Still have enough soil to go around. Just looks like I overfill it a little bit, but then it ends up evening out after I water it, if that makes sense. That's just how I do it. be tricky. Tricky, tricky. Oh, yeah. Um. Hey. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get a bobby pin for this one. Pro tip, if you ever have some cuttings that are sticking out of the pot that you can't get to just settle and stay in there, just make a little stake out of a bobby pin or even a paper clip. Just kind of unfold it. Fold it a little bit, make sure that it's big and loose so that it won't be too tight around the plant. And you have yourself a little steak. I'm sure if you lose these around the house, you probably don't have very many, but if you have some on hand, then there you go. All right, she's all done. Nice and big and beautiful. So pretty. All right, thank you so much guys for sticking around and watching. If you did, please leave a like, please leave a comment. Accepting constructive criticism here because I'm just starting out. I know I'm probably not very talkative. I need to be a little more, less awkward, a little more awkward, less awkward over time, with time. Thank you guys for subscribing. I will link my Instagram in the description box so you can see all of my plant pictures, videos, propagation, stuff like that. I post a lot on my story. I post a lot of it on my feed. So I'll just go ahead and check it out if you'd like and I'll see you in my next video. All right, it's now the next day and I have my plants back up. Well, two of them. Here's one I repotted. I feel like that terracotta caught. Oh my god! <laughs> the terracotta pot. <laughs> I sound like my grandma right now. <laughs> it's kind of lost in there. That's what I'm trying to say. It's, the pot's kind of lost in there, but I think it looks so pretty. It's like you don't know where the plant's coming from, but it's there. It's just gorgeous. And then there's this big bush over here. Added some trails throughout the baskets. I'm gonna have to get some kind of drip tray for that so that I can water it there instead of having to undo those every single time when I want to water it. But that is it.